Hey, it's Pastor Brett here, and on Sunday, um, I had the opportunity to preach at both our 930 and 1115 services. And at the end of the 1115 service, I prayed something that I had been thinking about from Matthew chapter 24. And in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus is talking about uh, the end times and his coming and what things are going to precede his coming. And the disciples actually ask him, uh, when's all this going to happen? What will be the sign of your coming in the end of the age? And Jesus' answer starts in verse 4. He says, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Christ, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Verse 9. Then you'll be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And that verse, or verses that I prayed this past Sunday, I was verse 12 and 13, it says, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And I think that Jesus gave this as a warning, not just to his disciples that were there and certainly saw many, if not most of these events happen in their lifetime as persecution broke out against the church and there were wars and there were earthquakes and famines, all those things in the first century. But he also said that these are the things that would happen before the end of the age and his coming. And we're seeing these things now. And what jumps off the page as a warning to me is that Jesus says that people are going to betray each other and hate each other, and there's going to be a great falling away. And then the part that is, is just so, seems critical to me right now is he says, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many will grow cold, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And I got to thinking about that with all the wickedness and evil that we see going on uh, around the world and in our country. It seems that there's an in increase of it. And for the Christian, for the person that wants to endure, the person that uh, wants to follow Jesus, we literally have to be warned by Jesus' words and, and fight to not let our love grow cold, but to have our love for God um, be fanned into flame and our love for people so that when we see the increase of wickedness, we don't despair, we don't turn on each other, we don't betray each other, we don't hate each other, as the previous verses said, um, and we definitely don't allow our love to grow cold. So we see wickedness and we should respond um, with broken hearts. We should respond in love so that people would truly know that we are Christ's disciples. I think that's the only way, and at least according to Jesus, that's the only way that we're going to endure to the end, to stay committed to love, to loving God and to love other people. So I pray as you watch the night in the news or hear stories uh, on the radio and on, on the internet about things that just seem to be getting worse and evil prevailing, I pray that the Christian response wouldn't be like the rest of, of society, that we wouldn't want to repay evil for evil and an eye for an eye, but that we would love one another, and most of all, love God. God bless you. I hope that helps you today.